In this video, we are going to write the general form of equation of parabola given its equation. For example, number 1, we have y plus 3 square equals 4 times the quantity of x minus 3. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to simplify the quantity of y plus 3 square. So in order for us to do that, we are going to square y, that is y multiplied by y, that is y square. And then we are going to multiply x, uh, y plus n3, y multiplied by 3 is 3y times the constant 2, that is 6y. And then lastly, we are going to square the last term, that is 3. 3 square is 9. That's why we have y square plus 6y plus 9. And then we are going to use distributive property to multiply 4 times the quantity of x minus 3. So 4 times x is 4x. 4 multiplied by negative 3 is negative 12. So to make this equation a general form, we're going to move 4x minus 12 to the side of y square plus 6y plus 9. So we're going to write y square plus 6y plus 9. So from negative positive, it became negative 4x. From negative 12, it became positive 12 equals 0. And then let us combine like terms. So that is 9 and positive 12. So y square plus 6y. Then we're going to write negative 4x. Then 9 plus 12, that is 21 equals 0. So this will be our general form of equation of a parabola. And for our last example, we have the quantity of x minus 4 square equals negative 8 times the quantity of y plus 3. Just like what we did in example number 1, we're going to do it in example number 2. We're going to do the same. So first, let us uh, simplify quantity of x minus 4 square. So we're going to square the first term. That is x times x is x square. And then we're going to multiply first and second term by the constant 2. x multiplied by negative 4, that is negative 4x, times 2, that is negative 8x. And then lastly, negative 4 square, that is positive 16, equals negative 8 multiplied by y is negative 8y. Negative 8 multiplied by 3 is negative 24. Now, to make this equation as general form, we're going to transfer negative 8y minus 24 to the side of x square minus 8x plus 16. So that is x square minus 8x plus 16 from negative became positive 8y plus 24 equals 0. And then we're going to combine like terms that is 16 and 24. The x square minus 8x plus 8y. 16 plus 24, that's 40, equals 0. So that's, that is our general form of equation of a parabola. And for our last example, we have the quantity of x minus 4 square equals negative 8 times the quantity of y plus 3. Just like what we did in example number 1, we're going to do it in example number 2. We're going to do the same. So first, let us uh, simplify quantity of x minus 4 square. So we're going to square the first term. That is x times x is x square. And then we're going to multiply first and second term by the constant 2. x multiplied by negative 4, that is negative 4x, times 2, that is negative 8x. And then lastly, negative 4 square, that is positive 16, equals negative 8 multiplied by y is negative 8y. Negative 8 multiplied by 3 is negative 24. Now, to make this equation as general form, we're going to transfer negative 8y minus 24 to the side of x squared minus 8x plus 16. So that is x squared minus 8x plus 16 from negative became positive 8y plus 24 equals 0. And then we're going to combine like terms that is 16 and 24. The x squared minus 8x plus 8y. 16 plus 24, that's 40, equals 0. So that's 
that is our general form of equation of a parabola.